Welcome to the Lords of the Fallen Technical Showcase. Here at Hexworks, our goal has always been to create the most immersive game experience possible. Today, we're journeying to Skyrest Bridge, one of the game's early locations, to demonstrate just some of the impressive ways Unreal Engine 5's state-of-the-art technologies have helped us deliver on this ambitious vision for our upcoming action RPG. We want players to feel fully immersed in our world by playing as their own unique virtual persona. To achieve this, we've used a combination of technologies, including 3D scans of real people and UE5's own character customization tech. Players can create unique faces and bodies by dynamically morphing between a huge range of shapes before finessing the finer details. Our extensive selection of armor sets seamlessly adapt to whatever shape the player chooses. It's really important to us that we represent as wide a proportion of our audience as possible. Being able to customize your hero in Lords of the Fallen is only the beginning. Each and every one of our characters is incredibly detailed using high resolution textures. Get up close to any surface in the game, like this tunic for example, and detail texturing provides incredible levels of micro detail. How these objects move and behave is also crucial for player immersion. UE5's Chaos Physics Engine facilitates advanced simulations for clothes, chains, hair, belts, and a whole lot more. This helps to substantially enhance the secondary motion in all our characters, making their movements look much more lifelike. The lighting in Lords of the Fallen takes full advantage of Unreal's brand new Lumen GI. We've been able to light our complex environments in real time, meaning we can immediately see the effect of a light bounce, for example, without waiting for the traditional slow baking processes. Watch how the lighting reacts as we move our light source around this environment. Global illumination like this can be quite demanding on processing, so we also make use of emissive shapes to add additional details to the lighting of any space. We can then fine-tune these light bounces on our nanite meshes, providing our world with impressive levels of detail and minimal impact on performance. Perhaps the most important element of Lords of the Fallen is the ability to travel between two worlds. The realm of the living, Axiom, and the realm of the dead, Umbral. We've created our own custom toolset within UE5 that allows us to intricately craft these two environments side by side and seamlessly swap between them. This means our artists and designers can ensure these worlds feel intrinsically linked, like two sides of the same coin, even if one side is decidedly more horrific than the other. On behalf of Hexworks, thanks for watching today's brief tech presentation. The twin realms of Umbral and Axiom await fearless adventurers later this year when Lords of the Fallen launches on PC and current-gen consoles.
the Lords of the Fallen. Wishless now. After an age of the cruelest tyranny, man finally defeated its overlord. The gods do not fall forever. The champions of war united and began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. For some forces, even death cannot end. But now, eons later, the fallen god's influence pervades the world again, corrupting even sworn enemies. To join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity to a new age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our own. now.